Good evening and welcome to 6 1. It was an agency mired in controversy and scandal, but today it was announced that the training body FOSS is to be disbanded. It'll be replaced by a new agency, SOLAS, which will oversee the provision of further education and training. The Minister of Education, Rory Quinn, said the new body would provide high quality and flexible opportunities for job seekers and learners, especially in growth areas like information technology and medical devices. A brand badly damaged by recent expenses and other scandals, it was only a matter of time before FOSS, in name at least, bit the dust. But this is not a rebranding, says the government. It's a radical transformation of the further education and training sector. It's not sufficient any longer to be unemployed and receiving a payment. Uh, you have to actually do something in return. It may be that you need to go back to school, or if you're of a certain age and further education really is not going to help you, then you're going to be offered a community employment project. FOSS will be disbanded. Its functions, budget and staffing divided 50-50 between the Department of Social Protection and agencies under the Department of Education and Skills. That's where this new authority, SOLAS, comes in. It will plan and coordinate courses, including apprenticeships, those courses to be run by the VECs and by private providers. At the moment, there's very little coherence in the further education and training sector. There are a lot of different providers and a lot of duplication of courses. This is an attempt to streamline the process and to make the system more.
confirmed that fewer than 10 people a week have used it this year. Sinn Féin TD Brian Stanley has described the centre as a white elephant and has called for it to be closed down. High above the bog in the Offaly townland of Mount Lucas, a construction crane marks the spot where hundreds of Irish workers were supposed to get formal training. This facility was built at a cost of nearly €7 million Euro and designed for professional tuition on the use of heavy earth-moving machines and construction plant. But now three people are employed here full-time to train only four people a week for a prolonged period.